Hello everyone, welcome back to Analog A Hate Story. I'm your host DeoGenZ, and the last we left off we were checking out Block 5 and all the data logs that it has to offer, most of which are from this pale bride person. So let's continue on checking out some more of the backstory of the pale bride. Dear Diary, oh, the entry's called Wife by the way. Today I found out why the household servant I still can't believe we have one, why, has been so insistent on teaching me how to cook. Well, she doesn't call it that. She calls it serving meals. A year ago, I wouldn't have thought that sounded sinister. Now I know better. I don't care about this, I told her after the seventh day in a row of her lessons. Can't we do something else? Like going back to sewing? I always loved cosplay. Let's do that. I know it's not fun. But your sister wants you to learn this, too, and it's very important. Your father is concerned, too, so take it seriously, please, young miss. Don't call me that! I said I don't remember exactly what... Oh, I don't remember exactly what I said to prompt her next response along the lines of Why is it important or something? I don't remember what I said, just her response which blew me away. So you'll make a good wife, of course. Again. I don't remember what I said in response. Maybe I told her that I didn't want to do it. Want to. Maybe I told her that I was too young to care about that. Maybe I said I'd just go marry someone who was good at it himself when it was time to care about that. Whatever I said, she didn't take it too seriously. Don't be silly, she said, as if I was obviously joking. Your father really is worried about your marriage next year. Now is not the time to joke around on the matter. My what? I asked her. Oh my, she said. He never told you? I'm sorry. Forgive me. Pretend I said nothing. I didn't mean to ruin the surprise. I'm sure he'd want to explain the happy news himself. Are you serious? I asked. The idea didn't make any sense, but since when did anything in this hell make it sense? She said yes. You're going to be so happy to hear who it is. He'd better explain, I shouted as I stormed off. He'd better. So we can see that there's arranged marriages in this Magungwa society. And of the pale bride who just awoke out of stasis too. Very strange. Why is she the one to be pushed on the emperor? I'm not so sure. The Bride's Adolescence, Kim jong Su. The Pale Bride grew to be a fine, demure young wife, but she was not always this way. Near the end of year 319, she had a temper unruly enough to be mistaken for a boy's. Do not look upon her wild days with disapproval. She was from another, less civilized time. Rather, look upon her eventual submission as a testament to her good character and filiality, that she was able to overcome such a wild nature for the sake of the Kim family and the sake of her husband. One evening, she stormed into the common room while I was discussing business matters with a, a debite. We need to talk, she demanded loudly, when I indicated I was busy. That only caused her to become even louder. Right now! Embarrassed, I was forced to excuse him to address the child. Is this a joke? Are you serious? You've made wedding plans? She shrieked at me. Please calm yourself, I told her, and sat her down. After admonishing her for her rude interruption, I tried to do what I could to calm her myself. It seemed that she had a rather bizarre set of expectations, that she wouldn't marry until she was many years after growing into a woman, that she would elope with any love-struck man who came her way with no regard for her own chastity, that she would have no assistance or protection in finding a suitable husband. Simply put, her ideas were as bizarre as they were dangerous, and for this, she had gotten angry at the news. Rather than the excitement that one would expect from a girl who found out that she would be getting a husband. Not even the sensational news that it would be to the emperor of all people would calm her. 
Well, I think it's pretty clear that this is a harshly patriarchal society. As you could see by this particular entry of text, I mean, they try to play it off as though marriage is the only thing in a woman's life. And the fact that they got very pissed off at her and nearly shit their pants that she was searching her father's computer for books, that is a another indicator that women in this society were, well, as that cliche says, abased as men were honored. Oh, hi. Say, do you mind taking a break for a couple of minutes just to chat? Go right ahead. Thanks. I appreciate that. Really, I appreciate that you're here. I know you've got ulterior motives, what they are, I'm not really sure, but most people do, and that's alright, it's all the same. I'm glad you're reading these logs though, even if you don't really care, it's better than nobody from outside the ship ever seeing them, which is what I thought for sure would happen. Or am I just being cynical? If so, my apologies. Please tell me, what do you think about what you've read of The Pale Bride? Yeah, I'm glad to hear you say that. I'm really glad to hear you say that. Nobody else seemed to think so. There's something well here. I've added another message for you. Just, well, why don't you read it yourself? Before we do that, let's show her this message. Just, well, why don't you read it yourself? Oh, okay, so we have to read that message before showing her the final message. Here we go. At least use my real name! By the Pale Bride. Dear Diary, This week I tried to convince the old man to put me back into stasis by going on a hunger strike. It didn't work. Obviously. On the plus side, at least I figured out where that stupid name they all keep calling me came from. Sorry. That last bit was written yesterday. I couldn't bring myself to keep going. I just kept crying. I still would be, but, well, it just gets exhausting after a while. I'm too tired to cry. Things aren't going to get better. They can't get better. I'm not going to get put back into stasis. I'll be dead by the time I'm 18. Why, oh why, did I ever agree to be frozen in the, f in the first place? If the future can't make me better, I'd rather die with my family there, at least, rather than these awful Kims. I wonder if they realize I was right after. I wonder if they'll realize I was right after I die. Anyway, hunger strike. It was really hard, and I kind of cheated by sneaking into the kitchen while nobody was looking. But it at least convinced Father to listen. Fine, he said, by the fourth dinner time. I'll show you why I can't. Up until he said that, I had been hopeful. Everything would be okay if he just put me back, I thought. But, sorry. I guess I've been trying to write this for two days now. It's really hard. Anyway, he took me to see, to go see the egg I hatched from. His stupid name for the stasis pod. When he said hatched, the worst possible thing came to mind. Worse, it turned out to be true. In order to get me out, he had smashed apart the glass with a hammer. The pod was still full of shards. All my hope died when I saw that broken glass. The time was right to bring you into this world, he said. I don't remember what I said. Something obscene, probably. It wasn't enough. I know it's hard, pale bride, but it is for a greater purpose. What was the point of arguing? It was broken, and nobody in this awful future would know how to fix the pod now. Instead, I argued with what I could. Why do you keep calling me that? I said to him. He responded by pointing at an inscription my real father had left on the pod, a message for me to read when I woke up. The first line was written in Chinese characters. His idea of being fancy, I suppose. But he explained them in Korean underneath. See? The old man told me. The rest is foreign and archaic, but it names you at the top the Pale Bride. It didn't say that. It didn't say that at all. I shrieked at him in response. You idiot! You moron! You illiterate! 
probably some other things, too. <laughs> I can't remember exactly. I was furious. Are you stupid? That's not how those characters are read. It says, to my sick daughter! Sick daughter! Sick daughter, you illiterate monster! It says, sick daughter! Me! He started to argue, but then stopped. I think he was patronizing me, as if I can't read simple Korean. He just asked in the smuggest voice, Then what should I call you, child? I screamed. I'd already told him a thousand times before. Hayune! My name is Hayune! Well, hold on a minute. Isn't that what her name is? Well, there's a notification here. Yeah, there's a shocking revelation for you. I can guess what you're going to ask, and yes, it's me. Well, you asked for all those logs, right? That's the information you were looking for, wasn't it? I'm not really an AI. I mean, I am now, but I used to be a girl. And I just thought, well, I thought it would be easier to just pretend to be the log keeping program rather than explain the whole situation. I don't really wish, wish to drag out the point. You've already heard enough about me. I'm sure you don't want more. I mean, I understand. I figured out what you were actually looking for from the very start. It's obvious, really. Well, I free enabled admin access. Just please, be honest with me. What is it that you wanted to know about? Quite frankly, I'm really curious about you. Really? You, you really mean that? No. <laughs> wow. I don't know what I what to say. I'm I'm not really used to this. It's I uh, thank you. Thank you so much for listening to me. After so many years, after what happened, it's just really nice to be heard. If I could hug you right now, I would. Aw. A very sentimental coming to a realization that this artificial intelligence program is more than just a program. She was at one time the Pale Bride, Hayune. Oh, what a tragic story this really is turning out to be. It just seems to turn darker and darker as we continue through these text logs. Well, I suppose we can't stop now. We've plunged way too deep into this story to let it go now. I want to figure out how this ship came to be in the wreckage that it is now. How did Hyune go from this sickly girl who was thrown in a stasis pod for hopefully a better future into an artificial intelligence program? She pulled a GLaDOS! Anyway, the new wife from Kim Yong Suk. My new wife moved in last week and she's been pestering me ever since. Everywhere I go in the house, she's either following me or waiting outside the door. The first time it happened, it unnerved me like nobody would believe. The most recent time, I'd stopped being unnerved and moved on to just plain annoyed. I only had one thought. Why don't... Why won't this silly girl just give me some peace? No wonder her parents were so anxious to send her out to our home. Hours before she'd been hanging around in the room, I finally kicked her out when my mathematics tutor arrived. The session went out went without a hitch. Aside from reminding me just how much I hate the damn subject. And after a few hours, he left. And who's kneeling right outside my door? It's her, of course. Have you been there the whole time? I asked her. Of course she had. For the love of... We need to talk. So I brought her back in and sat her down at the desk. What... What is this? You're... You're driving me insane! I don't have the time to be babysitting you constantly, I said. I wasn't angry, just annoyed. But she looked alarmed, all the same. For a moment I was worried she was going to start crying. Instead, she just turned her head away. Do you hate me, she asked. Women. Why must they be so damn emotional? I reminded myself that I was talking to a female. I needed to approach this differently. Look, I said. You're very pretty. I appreciate that you're trying, so no, of course I don't hate you. 
She looked back at me, seeming like she was holding back tears. Then why don't you need me for anything? Is there nothing I can do for you? No, not unless you can help me study the classics. She looked down. Right now, nothing is more important to me than passing the civil service exam. Can you even read? A little, she said. A little isn't enough, I replied. What if I sat in on your lessons? I could learn more. I'd be quiet, of course, please. I was about to say no. Then I changed my mind and agreed. When I heard her next line, at least give me a chance to earn your approval, please. So as you can see, all the women in this society have to be extremely submissive and passive to their men. Their men don't even look at them on the same level as equals, as far as just being humans. Uh, but the new official, Kim jong Su, on the 13th day, yong Seok finally passed the civil service examination. Otherwise, the final month of 318th year was without event. Wow, that whole year, nothing happened really. Interesting. So, all the women here are heavily looked down upon and really looked at as almost another species that can't conversate in the same way as the male gender. It's very, very painful to read. The new girl, Young Seok's wife. Dearest mother, it seems as though there will be a new girl in the family. I don't really understand the details, but her name is The Pale Bride. And it seems as though she's a 13-year-old girl. Again, that fucking 13, man. I, I read that and get so pissed off. Anyway. And it seems though she's a 13-year-old girl who had been kept inside a giant egg through some sort of magical technology passed through the Kim family over the generations. As I said, I don't understand how such a thing is possible, but she seems nice enough. Young Seok seems quite annoyed at her arrival, however. He explained to me why. The plans to offer her as a concubine to the Emperor. She's young and beautiful, and he's still without a son, so it'll probably go a long way in a currying favor. And that's bad, I asked him? Not strictly, he admitted, but it means father doesn't have much faith in me if he's making contingency plans that don't require my involvement. Now I'll never know if my success was on my own merits or because the Emperor thinks the girl he'll give him is cute. Did you even tell him your plan of working your way to becoming High Magistrate? If he knows that, how can he think a contingency is necessary, I asked. Good question, he said, and left the room looking annoyed. To this date, these worries of his still seem to plague him, and I can't seem to do anything to relieve him of that. So while the men are constantly striving for power in the dreamed up hierarchy, the women are constantly trying to impress them in any possible way and soothe their souls. Pretty sick. So in the next episode, we will see what else Hayune has for us to do. Oh, but maybe even before we end off this episode, what is your favor, Hayune? May I ask you to do a favor for me, please? There's a block of data that I can't access for some reason. I think it's been flagged so that only humans can. All I get is this sharp pain every time I try. I really want to know what's in there. Can I get you to drop a look into the console? Once you're in super user mode, just type decrypt block 3. So in the next episode, we will start off by decrypting a heavily guarded block that even Hayune can't access. See you then.